a streetcar named Desire. I've never seen the play or the film, but that title, as a poetic metaphor for life, is captivating. The idea that our desire or our wanting is like a rickety old tram carrying us crisscross through the city streets of the bustling metropolis of modern life. tram called Wanting, that doesn't ring quite so poetic, but it's our wanting that drives us all the same, and the track we ride is not always a smooth one. I had a fairly happy childhood. It was always tainted with an element of regret. I wasn't where I really wanted to be. See, my family moved from Liverpool when I was three years old. We were originally headed for New Zealand. At the last moment, my mother changed her mind. She didn't want to leave her mother. And so we ended up moving 20 miles out of Liverpool, halfway to Manchester. And it was a nice area. It was a new bungalow estate, surrounded by fields, a safe cul-de-sac, lots of new families, with children my own age to play with. But I wasn't content because I compared everything I had to what I imagined I would have if I'd been in New Zealand. Vast lakes, instead of the ponds, trees instead of the bushes, mountains instead of the hills, and vast plains instead of the farmer's fields. And the bike I rode, pretending it was a horse, well in New Zealand, that would have been a real horse. And this set the tone for constantly questioning what it was I really wanted in life, from life, and what I didn't want. So I got out as soon as I could when I was 16. I moved around a lot, never settling, never laying a foundation of career or home to build upon, drifting through different jobs, and locations and experiences because diversity is more important than security and freedom and time were more important than money and then I came to Amsterdam and I settled here for long enough to raise my son and really be there for him. But that's because that's what I wanted at that time. But the drifting urge came back as my son grew up and started out on his own path. In the last few years I've been delving deeper into myself to try to understand what it is that really drives me. Asking myself, what is it I really, really want? Of course, I've desired all the things most people desire, you know, the nice home, the, uh, the money, the holidays, the cars, 
the gadgets, the friends, the social life, I suppose even the status. And I've dreamt of traveling the world, seeing new places, meeting new people, learning new languages. And I cherish my present goal of living permanently in an RV, constantly traveling, with surfboards and canoes and paragliders on the roof rack and vlogging it all but I know that that vision isn't ideal because every desire comes as a package with concessions and commitments and responsibilities and extra work and some of those extras at the package I might not want. So after much soul searching over the last few years I came to the realization that what I really, really, really want is just to be free. Free to do what I want when I want, to follow my impulse because I don't have any one specific passion. And I realized too, looking back over my life, that that's exactly what I've been doing all along. I just know it now. And everyone is doing the same thing. Everyone is doing what they want. Because wherever we are right now, we got here because of the choices we made. And those choices were always influenced and directed by the strongest desires we had at the moment of choosing. A desire to do one thing and not another. our cards way up our hand, evaluate the consequences we can expect and then make our choices and things are a lot easier to accept when you know you're playing the game and so we buy our tickets, we ride that streetcar Hopping on and off, stop to stop. Choice by choice. Following the line. The desire line. its end destination. <laughs> 